I'm slowly getting there, slowly but surely. It would be so much better if I had a drill. So here we go. The floor and the plywood is now out. Now it's time to clean. Nearly done. The floor looks clean. It's quite a decent van. As you can see, I cleaned the front this morning. And I've been doing this while in work for the whole day. Let's get cleaning. Two minutes. Sweeped out. Now she needs a good scrub. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. So I read that if you get the filings all over the van, it causes loads of rust. So all I've done here is put the a plastic sheet up. I know it's sniper tape, but I put a plastic sheet up to show, uh, just to hold any of the iron filings that's gonna that's gonna drop onto the floor. Guess who didn't make the hole big enough? Me. I must have been by millimetres as well. So we're just grinding it down now. There she is, Levy. So now this area has been cleaned here, the alcohol wipes. You can see there's a massive gap. And now that needs to get filled in. So then we can screw it down onto the frame which lies underneath. Direct to metal pane. Into these edges here. Okay. To the, the van using silicon and clamp it into place. I'm gonna use this tape and build up the sides so that it'll fit in correctly. And then I'm gonna seal it all up. And as you can see, it just builds up like so. So it makes a seal. But I'm definitely gonna run out of tape. And to finish it off, I've just put a seal up around the side. I obviously put a lot around here. So that's where we'd cut it out and on a bead on each of the screws to keep it from rusting. And the grand <laughs> Done. Fucking, it's been a long day. Today's job, sound deadening the van. So I've actually bought a cheaper one here. And um, it's supposed to cancel out the noise. And I've just put it on. And it's a good job it's raining today, so I can hear the difference. So what it does, it actually takes out the tone, I think. And it actually does quite a good job, considering it's just flashing tape, and it cost me about £8 a roll. It's called Blackjack or something. Hey, good afternoon. This is the second vent, but this time I'm doing it a little bit different. So instead of doing it from the top, I've put my frame literally on there which I know fits my second vent and then I put four pilot holes in the corners and then I'm going to cut from the top now to make sure I measure it again because it probably won't go in but yeah and the van looks like a shit state at the moment whoops so while I'm letting the glue dry on the wood I'm just sorting out the this one of the solar panels and putting the brackets on and the way that the brackets are going to be done is the washer on the bottom and then your bracket goes on top and then I've got a washer here with a rubber um, attached to it and that should take out a bit of the vibration when it's attached to the van and the van keeps driving and then finally the nut but I think what I'm going to do is add a second washer above that and then that's the end product so here you can see it's literally straight to uh, 
uh, metal paint. I'm just painting up all the parts that have been scratched over the past couple of years. So it avoids getting any ru rustier. Not gonna lie, I feel a little bit hungover, but as you can see here, the glue has dried, which means I can then put onto on the vent, slide it into place, bring it down, put on the inside of it, and then screw it in. But first, because of these lips here, I'm gonna have to cut these off into position so it can lay lay flat. Same with this side here. Yeah, there's two different ways you can do this, but I found this is an easier way to do is to cut those lips off um, instead of actually building up a platform. And because I don't actually own a pair of ladders, this is how I'm getting up at the top of the van. Making a makeshift bench ladder. So now as you can see, I've cut these two parts out here. So this will now f sit flush with the whole end here. And now I just need to make sure that these are all filled in with sealant. So I'm going to fill that with sealant, but also the putty that I had last time. <coughs> and it's also going to be filled in this side here. And once that's done, sealant all around the edge of here. And then I'm going to put it into place and then it's going to screw from the inside. And there we go, sealed up nicely. So I'm just going to rub all this down here with alcohol wipes to make sure it's nice and clean. And then do that side here it's all filled in then I'm going to add loads of sealant to it so it makes it, so it makes it watertight and I've come across a little bit of a problem because the screws that I got to fix in this vent haven't uh, been long enough so now I'm pretty fucked so instead what I've done is I've now gripped them down and the sealant here should set which should keep it in place I'm obviously going to put a lot more sealant on around the edges to make sure it's watertight and then I think what I'm going to do is take this off somehow, I don't know how yet, and then put in some screws into the main part here, which actually should work, we'll see. There she is, second vent complete, just need screwed in the open part. Not a bad job for someone who doesn't have a fucking clue what they're doing. If you asked me what I would be doing five years ago, it definitely wouldn't be mopping the top of a Mercedes Sprinter van. Definitely not. So with a little help from Sharpie, I was able to figure out where the solar panels can actually fit. So yesterday you seen me put the uh, brackets on, on this Instagram. And then he's been inside the van while I tap it to make sure that there's no beams going across. So I've drawn them out and all I need to do now is drill the holes through and then attach the new bolts uh, to the van um, and to the brackets. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm attaching the solar panel to the roof. I've just drilled a hole through the roof and now I'm doing my rubber seal with some seal around it. It's going straight through the hole and then I'm just ratcheting it up. Okay, that's been done. Now, for this, you definitely do need someone else to be underneath because they need to now, using the wrench, hold the nut while I tighten all the bolts up. It's getting kind of cold and windy up here now, so I'm going to call it a day, but I think that's quite a good day. Two solar panels fitted, and my shower vent fitted. Winner. And there's my bed for tonight.